Hello world, Lisa Fredrickson here, your friend and computer science professor with another short screencast from javascript.info, the modern javascript tutorial, and we are down to section 2.15, function expressions and arrows. Now we've already talked about function declarations versus function expressions, but now's a good time to review that because it's such an important lesson. And here's my little web page from the previous lesson. And in this lesson, I created three functions and I used the function declaration syntax, which declares the function using the function keyword. I'm gonna change each of these into a function expression. And if you go through the lesson, he will show you all the shortcut syntax ways of doing this. I'm going to just show you the main way of changing a function declaration into a function expression. And that is that we use the let keyword we take the function name and make that our variable name, and we assign that variable to this function. Now we can also have a function name in here if we want, but it's really unnecessary because we are using that variable now and assigning it to that function. He also encourages us to put a semicolon at the end of all of our expressions, although it would work without that. Because of automatic semicolon insertion, I will change this one, let add shipping, be assigned to that function. And the final one, let calculate total be assigned to this function. The space after a function is optional. It'll work with or without a space. I typically see the style guide showing no spaces after the keyword function and one space around operators just for readability, but your style guide will dictate that. The lesson talks about the difference between function declarations and function expressions as mainly being syntax, how you want this to look. There are some times when it does matter. Function declarations can be placed anywhere in your code and then used. So a function declaration can be placed after the statement where you run it, whereas a function expression must be declared, the add tax variable must be declared and assigned to its function before you can run it. So in this case, I'm using the add tax and the add shipping functions. I could not place those function expressions below calculate total and expect them to run as a function expression. As a function declaration, that would be just fine. I'm going to save, refresh, interstate. So let's enter Iowa this time, open up our console. And when we run calculate total, we run the function expression in exactly the same way with the parentheses, I'm expecting 100 because I start with a total of 100 and I'm only adding in the tax and the shipping if the state is equal to California. Let's rewrite these one more time using the arrow functions. Those are new construct of the latest version of JavaScript. They provide for an even shorter syntax. And to use arrow functions, you really need to know function expressions because they're much more similar to function expressions than they are function declarations. In an arrow function, we declare the variable add tax, we remove the keyword function, and then we use an arrow, which is the equal sign and the greater than sign, to surround the code. The lesson has some shortcut syntax when you only have one line statements and you want to return something shorter. When I'm learning, I prefer to use these code blocks and really sing out what's going on. I think it's much more readable. Definitely read the lesson thoroughly so that you understand all the variations and shortcuts too. In this one, we would have let shipping. We would assign it to, we don't need the function keyword with arrow functions anymore. We just need the parameters. And then what is actually run in the code and returned is after the arrow. And on the final function, it would be even shorter because we don't have any parameters in past the function. So we'd merely remove the function keyword and then use the arrow to identify what's returned. I'm going to save and refresh interstate. I'm going to try California again, click OK, run my calculate total function, and there we go, 135. So those are the three major ways to define a function, function declaration with the function keyword, function expression where we use our variable name and we assign it to the function, and then arrow functions where we remove the function keyword altogether and use this neat arrow operator. Thank you.